And, yes. Yep. Uh, now, finally, uh, in the survey, so 26% of the small businesses surveyed said they would be una unable to service or deliver to some customers or certain areas once the ULIS is introduced. And at what point? Um, so, you know, what can you do, Mr. Mayor, as you know, a pro business mayor, as you said you are? Well, yeah, no, I, mean, I know you have sort of touched on it, but is there any more we can do? Uh, absolutely. There's, al there's always more we can do. And it's just really important to complete a complete picture because I know you wouldn't want to directly uh, or indirectly, intentionally or unintentionally mislead people. Businesses are in favour of this. No, I leave that to the you. The CBI yeah. is supportive of uh, ULES demonstrating that I'm a pro business mayor. London First, supportive of uh, my ULES. LCCI have a large number of members who are road users who are broadly supportive. The businesses uh, are lobbying us to expand ULIS to the north and south circle mm -hmm. from Arriva to Bath. Uh, uh, can I just correct you there, Mr. Mayor? So uh, yeah, we yeah. are speaking to can businesses. I just, can I just correct you there? Because you know, this is in good humour, I think, and uh, I appreciate that for a change. Um, you're saying your ULIS, it is obviously our ULIS. We thought of it first. You do appreciate so the, your I think predecessor. We, Chair, I think we're seeing the start of a U-turn here. No, no. This is really important. No, no. So the Conservatives Mr. are now Mr. claiming Mayor. they are it's, in favour of not, ULES beginning on April the 8th. I think this may be a U-turn. Now the question is, does not, Assembly Member Bailey agree with you or does he disagree with you? Mr. I look Mayor, forward to it's Mr. Not, Bailey. It's, Mr Mayor, it's not a U-turn, it's a U-turn. You're very quiet. When, when Assembly Member well, Chair, Bailey that's is sitting from in your Assembly chair, Member Bailey he would answer yeah, Just like in Parliament, Mr. Mr. the Conservative <laughs> Party here is divided. Mr Chairman, can I just... I mean, this is coming up out of time, but can I just remember, just remind the Mayor that we ask the questions. It's not your position to ask the Mr. Assembly members. Chair, I'm sorry we've seen another Tory split here. So, there's no split. We're 300% we're behind Mr Bailey and um, we look very much forward to him sitting in that chair uh, come 2020. So, Chair, Chair I'm unclear. <laughs> I'm unclear. So what, is, what is the Conservative position uh, as of 11.35 on the 7th yes, of uh, yeah, I, February? Because I'm sure it will change by tomorrow. The point, the point has been fairly made by Assemblymember Prince that you don't ask the questions, he does. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, and I, and I was trying to help you there, Mr Mayor, but um, is there any more you can do to help small businesses? OK, well, Chair, Chair I'm not sure which question, because the previous question was, uh, it's worth just, Chair, being accurate, because I know you'd want to be so, Chair. The previous question began with a proposition that the Conservative Party are in favour of this unit. Chairman, Chairman, on a point now, of order, I was trying to... I was trying to point of order, Chairman. The Mayor is deliberately wasting our time. He was asked a very clear question there, is there more you can do to help small businesses? He's deliberately wasting our time and everyone in this room knows that's exactly what he is doing. Can we please have a time added back on? If the Mayor wants to grandstand in this way, fine. But we'd, have not, we'd like to have another five minutes. Chair, let me answer. It is the responsibility of members to keep the mayor on track. If you think that the mayor is filibustering, tell him so. Right, it's okay. not my well, job. Mr. Well, Mr. 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 Chairman, you conduct the meeting. Sorry, excuse I, me. I, I, I'm, I'm excuse conducting me. the meeting. Excuse me. I am conducting the meeting, and I expect members to hold the mayor to account. Right. Excuse me. It's my question. Uh, what I'm going to do, actually, uh, Chair, is I am going to withdraw the question because I've given the mayor more than one opportunity to, uh, and it was, you know, genuinely trying to be helpful. Uh, to tell Londoners uh, how he can help small businesses more in relation to ULIS. He's, cho he's chosen instead, uh, regrettably, to just grandstand and try and make political points. So I'll withdraw the opportunity for him to get some uh, good publicity for himself. Thank you very much. OK, so remember Hall. Thank you, Mr Mayor. I think the point being we agree with the ULES but not being brought in when it is because it is damaging small businesses. And you say you're going to be the most pro-business mayor ever. There's absolutely no evidence of that going forward whatsoever. You've said you expect the opening of ULES to run pretty smoothly. So if it does go badly or less well than you think it's going to go, will you learn lessons from that? and consider making changes to your plans for the 2021 expansion. Well, Chair, I'm clear, glad we've got clarity. The Conservative Party opposes ULES beginning this April 2019. Those businesses that support ULES beginning, uh, beginning as I've uh, planned to do so, are the CBI, uh, which is a business organisation, uh, uh, London First, 
which represents over 200 of leading, uh, London's leading employers, uh, the London Chamber of Commerce can, can and you Industry. Can the question, Mr well, Mayor, please? I'm, I'm sorry, Chair, but the question contained no, a I premise that this was not pro-business. It position. is pro-business, as indeed is the current Mayor. Can you answer the question? Uh, I think first. I just did, Chair. Yes. Can you him. just concentrate on the questions I'm asking you? And I'm actually saying to you, if the ULES does not run smoothly, like you seem to think it will, which is amazing because so many other things you do doesn't, if things go badly or less well than you expect, will you then learn lessons from that and seek to um, at least make changes to your plans for the 2021 expansion? Well, Chair, I know the Conservatives oppose ULES beginning on April the 8th, but we're keen to make it work as best as we can on April the 8th, 2019. And there's a very important reason why. Each year in London, thousands of Londoners die prematurely. Yeah, you're not answering the quality. question again, are you, Mr Mayor? Well, Chair, I'll ask the question as I think is best to answer the question. I appreciate it doesn't suit the party political interests of the member asking the question. It's not my fault if her party opposes a policy supported by 82% of Londoners I'm asking, who respond Mr. Mayor, to the If it doesn't go well, yeah, will you look policy. at the 2021 expansion? It's quite a simple question. Chair, listen, I appreciate that it's very difficult for the Conservatives mm -hmm. to, to oppose a policy that is directly targeting one of the biggest killers of yeah. London yeah, prematurely. Yeah, you've, told us that, you've told us that several times. Well, well the question has been asked several times, Chair. Yeah, no, no. But, no. but, but the, you've not the Assembly the member doesn't think that you're answering the question. Well, she's entitled to think what she wants, Chair. No, the, the whole point of this is we ask you questions you're supposed to answer. It's a very simple question, Mr Mayor, especially for you. The simple <laughs> question is... If the ULES does not run smoothly, and we're pleased that you think it will do, but if it doesn't, will you learn lessons from that and consider making changes to the plans for the 2021 expansion? Well, look, Chair, listen, Chair, can I just say, I, I, don't, I don't mind at all, as rude as the Assembly member wants to be, I'm used to Tories being rude to me. The point is this. I don't think she's policy, being rude this policy, to me. Well, you wouldn't, would you, Tony? Well, you wouldn't. To well, you wouldn't. Question. Well, you wouldn't, Chair. Chair, you know, oh I long for the day when we have an impartial chair. Maybe when we've got a new one, uh, well, Can that, you day will, that day will come. Answer the now, question. Now, I appreciate, Chair, I appreciate how divided the Tory group on the London Assembly is. I, I get this. You and Jeremy I appreciate Corbyn. the problems that you have. But I do not resolve from the fact we have in London a situation where thousands of Londoners are dying prematurely no, because Mr. of bad Mayor, stop. We have a situation you're not in London the you're where saying I have it's a policy again. that's it's been again. opposed. Shall we try party. another question, Mr. Mayor, that you might want to answer? Being in April the 8th. Shall we try another one that you might choose to answer? Because clearly you don't know the answer to that very simple question. So the next question: How many Londoners does TfL estimate will be forced off the road in April due to not being able to afford to run or replace their non-compliant car? Which well, can I welcome the young children who are in the assembly to watch this behaviour? Can I just say to the children, that's what Conservatives do, they're very rude. Can you ask, uh, but can you answer you know, the on, question? On this side of the room. You're most welcome. Uh, Chair, uh, the answer to uh, one of the questions asked by the Assembly Member, I think the most recent one, was uh, a, a question based on a premise that I don't accept, which is people being forced off the road. <laughs> what I'm hoping we do see is behaviour change from those who currently drive into London with a vehicle that's contributing to the bad quality area in our city. So, for example, we know there are people driving into the congestion charge area whose vehicles emit too much nitrogen dioxide, uh, nitrogen oxide and particulate matter. And for those children watching, what this can lead to is your lungs yes. being yep. underdeveloped forever. Can, can you just and so what I'm trying to do, children, is question, to have a policy yes. that reduces yeah, yeah, the chance yeah, yeah, yeah. of you having lungs that are underdeveloped. That's why Mr. it's so Mayor, important you're using up to clean up the area yes. in London. Yes. Mr. I thought the question was about people being forced off the road because of the affordability Absolutely. of your chance. Well, Chair, and, I, and I made the point in answer to my question, right. is that I don't accept the premise of the question, which is people being forced off the uh, road, where I think will happen as we've seen with the toxicity Mayor, well, charge, and answers. we've already seen, hopefully in the lead-up to the Elshire Emission Zone, is people changing their behaviour. Because, for example, no. they may choose to buy a, a Euro 6 compliant vehicle uh, if it's uh, diesel, or a Euro 4 compliant vehicle if it's petrol, or a Euro 3 compliant vehicle if it's, say, motorcycle. Or some people may decide to uh, walk or cycle or use public uh, transport. 
And the, the most poor in our society often can't afford to replace these. Well, Mr. Chair, it's really important, again, Chair, there's a false premise uh, in that question. On, because what no, we do you don't know... don't answer the questions. That is the problem. This is another question. Try this one. Do you accept that with car tax and insurance, the cost of MOTs, taxes on fuels as well, potentially the congestion charge in the ULES, London motorists are already charged a huge amount. So can you tell me, what are your thoughts around road pricing? Well, Ch Chair, the, the question contained a premise at the beginning, which is the poorest Londoners will suffer at the no, most. No, no. It's worth remarking. That was last question. I thought question. that was the preview. I thought that was what the preview. What are your thoughts on road, on road pricing now? What, what are your thoughts, Mr Mayor, on road pricing? Other members here have brought it up. Uh, some of us are absolutely not for it. You clearly need to know where you stand on it. So can you tell us where you stand on road pricing? Well, Chair, the point I was going to make, which is an important point, is the poorest Londoners are least likely to own a car. Can you tell us where you stand Londoners on road pricing? The most likely pricing? to suffer the worst consequences of the poor quality years. So it's really important to realise this is an issue of social justice. And unlike the yeah. Conservative Party, we believe in addressing road social pricing, social Mr. Mayor. You're not being asked about social justice, Mr. Oh. Mayor. You're being asked what your views are on road pricing. Chair, I, I know you're against social justice, but the no, question no, is... Mr. Mr. Oh, Mr. Mr. Oh, Mayor, oh, don't oh, impute oh, motive can you to me. Just answer, answer a problem. question. <laughs> What are your thoughts on road pricing? Well, Chair, the transport strategy that I've uh, published some time ago, I'm, I'm disappointed that the Assembly hasn't taken the trouble to read the strategy. It's a very good strategy. What are your thoughts uh, on road pricing, well, Mr Mayor? The, the transport strategy sets out our views on What are your thoughts, pricing. Mr Mayor, just, just so that the, um, the young people that have just joined us can hear? What would you say to them about road pricing? Well, Chair, I've been invited to talk to the young children, so I'll do so. Uh, children, we've published a document no. called... No, Mr Mayor, <laughs> please do try and answer this question. I'm sorry, this is I'm, what you're here for. I'm being stopped from talking to you, children. I do apologise. Uh, I apologise we'll as well, finish. but I want the answer. What are your thoughts on road pricing? Well, what I've said, Chair, in the transport strategy is we, we need to be exploring... Do you approve technology. of it or do you not approve of it? Well, we, I mean, Chair, for goodness sake, I've got to ask, I've got to ask a question. I mean, this is ridiculous now. No, I mean, well, come like, on, just please, please put it aside. Just, Honestly, Mr Mayor, I, and, and I'm as, I am known for my objectivity. I cannot understand why you can't tell the Assembly member what your views are on road pricing. No, well, I'm not. trying to, Chair, but I keep getting heckled from the Chamber. Um, and, and, not the, and not you children. Um, the, the, our policy, on, our strategy on road pricing is set out in our transport strategy which sets out we will explore uh, road pricing technology as and when it comes on uh, uh, well, comes on what's clear is that technology is nowhere near being ready to be uh, utilized what i have been quite clear and explicit about in both my manifesto in si and since is what we're not going to do is increase congestion uh, charging which is a form some would say of road pricing okay thank you mr Mayor. Okay.